kiddos. It's so good to see your sweet little angel faces. Aren't y'all excited for Christmas? I am, and I can't even begin to describe to you how ready I am for Christmas. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. Besides National Nacho Day, it's probably my favorite holiday ever. But when it comes to the holidays, it can be one of the most stressful times of the year. I mean, think about all the things you have to do on Christmas. You've got to clean the house, make a ton of food, buy presents, wrap those presents, then go back to the store because you forgot your cousin Keith from Campbellton is visiting, write thank you notes, shovel snow, eat the shoveled snow. I mean, it's just so much. And right now, I don't even know where to begin. It's just all so crazy. I feel like I need to take a deep breath. Ooh, who? I'm getting lightheaded. Somebody help! Ooh. Um, Carl? Hello? Carl, are you there? Hi, Journey Kids. Do you have any idea where Carl is? I was supposed to meet him here, and... Uh, well, I don't see him anywhere. I have a gift for him. Gift? <sighs> Maisie! Maisie! Hey, Maisie! Hey, Journey Kids! It's my friend Maisie! Carl, you scared me. What happened? Where were you? Oh, me? I was just down there. On the floor? Why? Well, to be honest, I think I'm getting a little stressed out. Really? Why? Well, it's just a lot. What is? Christmas! There's just so much to focus on. It makes me all flustered. Flustered? Yeah, flustered. Like a duck in supermarket. Well, I don't know about that, but I bet I have something that will help you become unflustered. You have ice cream? No, but I have a gift for you. Look down. What? Beef jerky? How did you know I used this as a deodorant? Um, I didn't. I just knew you liked it. Anyway, did that gift make you feel better, Carl? It sure did. It's like the stress all just faded away. The power of jerky! Well, I'm glad, because that's what Christmas is all about. Wait, Christmas is all about beef jerky? I knew it! No, that's not what I meant. You see, we were all given a gift a long time ago that brought the whole world something very special. All right, Maisie, tell me what you're talking about. Well, for the past couple of weeks, we've talked about everything that's been leading up to the birth of who? Jesus, of course. It's so exciting. It is, really. So Joseph and Mary were heading to Bethlehem, and they tried to get a room at an inn. Is an inn kind of like an old motel? Exactly. But guess what? The inn had no more rooms, and Mary was about to give birth to Jesus. Oh, no. So what did they do? The person in charge of the inn told them they could stay in the cave-like space below the inn. It wasn't quite a room, but it was something, I guess. Isn't that where they kept all the animals and stuff? It is. The animals needed shelter from the cold at night and would be gathered up there sometimes. It wasn't an ideal space for a family, especially a mother who was about to have a baby. But Mary and Joseph didn't have anywhere else to go. And something amazing was about to happen. Wow, I bet they were pretty nervous to be in a messy situation like that. And cold, too. It's too bad they didn't have any family or friends to talk to. Well, believe it or not, just nearby, there were a few shepherds in a field taking care of their flock. Oh, cool. So they saw Joseph and Mary? Even better, an angel appeared to them. They were told not to be afraid because the angel had come to bring them good news. I love good news. The angel told them that the Savior had been born and that they could find him nearby in the manger. Then they said something that was truly good news. You can read it in Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Wow, this is amazing. What a gift. What do you mean, gift? I mean, listen to them. They're praising God and telling them that God's peace will be with them. What a gift. You're absolutely right, Carl. Wow, you know, this really helps me understand that Christmas is so much more than just gifts and cleaning and food and even family. It's about knowing that God sent Jesus to be our savior and giver of peace. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Life can certainly get busy and stressful, but when we remember why Jesus came for us, life seems to feel like something we can manage and we can start to feel peace. Oh, just like your gift made me feel better. I feel like the peace Jesus has given me has made me feel even better. Like true joy. I wish everyone could feel this. That's the cool thing, Carl. They can. Everyone can feel just how you're feeling now. Really? How? Well, once people begin to understand who Jesus is and why he came, 
then people all over the world will receive the same joy. All over the world? Of course. I mean, the gift Jesus offers is free to everyone. To you, to me, to the people who live in Europe, Asia, Africa, all of the Americas, and even Antarctica, Carl. Wow, I never thought about that before. I'm just so glad Jesus came to bring peace to the whole world. Well, you heard it from Carl. Our big idea today is Jesus came to bring peace to the whole world. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus came to bring peace to the whole world. Great job, kids. How does Rudolph know when Christmas is coming? He refers to his calendar. Why didn't Rudolph get a good report card? Because he went down in history. <laughs> this week from a friend that lives in a whole different place in the world. Her name is Sophie, and she lives in a place called the Netherlands. Can you say that with me? Nez-er-lands. Netherlands. Check this out. Hey, Callie. Every year on December 5th, my brothers, sisters, and I put our shoes next to the fire at night and hope they get fellow trees in the moon. Merry Christmas! about Sophie and how she celebrates Christmas in the Netherlands. What I thought she said was that shoes next to a cozy fire made her feel warm and full of peas. I was like, how can you feel full of peas unless you eat a lot of peas? Lucy laughed for a long time. So I laughed because her laugh makes me laugh. While we were done laughing, she said she felt full of peas. Do you know what peace is? My Aunt Lucy told me that peace is like quiet, that you can feel. She reminded me of the time when my family visited the ocean. We had to drive a long way to get there, and I felt really squirmy. But when we got to the ocean, and I saw the sun and the water, my squirmies just went away. I remembered how that felt. Can you imagine that with me, friends? Does that help you think about what peace is? It helped me. Let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story begins with Mary and Joseph at the end of their long journey. They had just arrived in a place called Bethlehem when it came time for the baby Jesus to be born. There was no other place for Mary and Joseph to go. So Jesus was born where the animals stayed. <laughs> They wrapped the baby up and put him in a manger. What's a manger? It was what a lot of animals ate out of. Near the place where Jesus was born, there were sheep and shepherds. Shepherds are people in charge of watching after the sheep. Suddenly, an angel appeared, and they were really scared. But the angel told them not to be scared, because the angel had good news. Jesus was born and they could go and find him lying in a manger. Just then, a lot more angels flew all around them, thanking God for what God had done and saying that there should be peace on earth because Jesus came to bring peace to the world. That story made me wonder what the sheep were doing. So I got out these two stuffies to be our sheep in their Bible story. What sound do sheep make? Do you know, friends? <coughs> yeah, they go, ba. <laughs> Can you imagine when the angel appeared? The sheep were probably like, ba. But then, when the angel told them that Jesus came to bring peace, they were probably like, ba. Let's do that again. 
You guys want to do that again? Bah! Bah! Angel appears. Bah! Angels talk about the peace Jesus brings to the world. Bah! You guys said it all. Jesus didn't come to bring fear. He came to bring peace. Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Hey friends, if you feel scared this week, maybe you can remember our story for today and our big idea. Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Maybe that will make you go. Bah! <laughs> Thanks for learning and growing with me. See you later, friends. A joke for you. What do you get when Santa becomes a detective? Hmm? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do you know? You get Santa clues. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Journey Kids, I have another joke for you. Who delivers Christmas presents to elephants? Elephants? What would an elephant want as a present, I wonder? Hmm. I'm not so sure. But who brings Christmas presents is Elephanta Claus. <laughs> <laughs>